Hi everybody, today I want to show you the drawing papers I normally use. I have lots of different ones. Okay, and so we start. This is um, Canson Bristol paper. Um, about 110 or 112 pounds. Um, I have loose sheets only but um, that's the paper I normally use for drawing portraits um, it's very smooth uh, very white bristol paper um, you can see this is a graphite drawing I did on that paper and this is a colored pencil drawing I did on that paper. The outlines are from Nilo. I only colored that. Um, but here you can see you can use it with colors or with graphite pencils. Um, it's very smooth. And that's. I like that because so you can um, achieve a really smooth skin tone or. Um, but you can also, you can see it here um, in the eyes, uh, get really, really dark. Okay, so that's um, and that's the size I normally use. It's A4. This is um, bristle paper made by Lana, the same, but um, A A3 size. Um, yeah. It's it's the same like this and um here this is Strathmore Bristol. I don't have any sheets. Um it's a little bit hard to get in Germany. Um this is the three hundred series, the with a smooth surface. That's the one I like most. There is um, one that has a vellum surface in the 300 series, but I like the smooth better. But you have to be careful um, while drawing because um, you easily get fingerprints on your drawings. That's the same with the other bristle paper. Um, so you better try not to touch the paper with your fingers. Always put a paper under your hand or something else. Um, okay, so um, there are. Um, I have no no empty sheets of this anymore. Um, I use it as a map for sketches and things like that. Um, here you can see a drawing I did on that type of paper. Okay, so the next one is. The Bristol 400 series. Yeah. I like the 300 series better. Don't know why. Um, yeah, but it's the same. It, I use this as a map for for older drawings and things like that. Then the next one, Hanemühle Kreativ. It's a sketch book or. Because um, you see, 45 pounds. I find that this is too thin for portrait drawings and things like that. So I use this as as a sketch book, but yeah, it's empty right now. Um, next one, skizzen block, sketchbook. Uh, these are the same, different sizes. Um, you can see this is a charcoal drawing I did on that. It's um, yeah about fifty pounds. It has a little bit of a structure, so you can can use it for for graphite drawings, for colored pencil drawings, and for charcoal drawings. But the paper is. Okay, uh, I like it for sketches. Yeah, that's that. So, the uh, next pile. Um, Bösner Skizzen und Zeichenblock. 
sketchbook, small one. Um, I ordered that because I wanted to try it. And I found that this is one of my new favorites. I really, really like that paper. It's about 80 pounds thick. Um, it's very white, but it has a little bit of a structure. Um, the graphite, you can apply it very light. You can achieve smooth shadings, but you can apply it also really dark. And so this is a drawing I started on that paper. Next one, De La Roni. Fine grain heavyweight. Um, I bought it last week. I didn't really try it until now. Um, it says fine grain, but um, in comparison with the Bristol paper, the grain is not as fine as it says. Um, so for me, I do have to to practice drawing on that. Um, yeah, I started a sketch, and we will see how it turns out. Next one, line art. Um, when I first bought that, um, I really liked it, but um, now I'm. Uh, I, I think a bit different. Um, I do like it for drawing animal portraits. Um, it's The paper is not as white as the Bristol paper and not as smooth as the Bristol paper. And I when, when I try to draw a portrait on this I always have something I don't like. Um, it's too dark, it's not dark enough, it's not smooth enough, it's... yeah I don't know. Um, but I like drawing animal portraits on this um, because the fur seems to have a little bit of structure. Next one. This is a new one I found. I went, thought, oh, I, I'll try it. It has uh, 50 sheets of really white paper. Um, about 120 pounds. Good weight. Um, yeah, I did a drawing on it and I really liked it. I don't have the drawing anymore so I can't show you, but I'm going to try uh, drawing a portrait on that in the next days and then we will see. Next one, Lana Dessin, 220, means, um, uh, about 100 pounds, 220 grams. Um, this one comes in two weights. One has 150 grams and one 220. I always use the, the heavier one. like it better. So um, this is just like the line art paper. Um, I don't like drawing portraits on this. Um, same. It's the same. Uh, I I always have something I don't like. Not smooth enough, not dark enough, things like that. But um, it's perfect for colored pencil drawings. Um, it's a little bit structured, so uh, the colors will stay on, on the paper. You can put a lot of layers on it and yeah, that's a drawing I did. Um, the outlines are by Inga Semisov. I only colored that with uh, polychromos colored pencils. Uh, next one, sketch paper, Hanemühle, der blaue Block, um, 90 pounds. When I first started drawing portraits, I always did it on that paper, but um, I don't like that anymore because um, the drawings get really dark. Uh, in comparison to the Bristol paper, where you can draw very, very light, that doesn't that, that's really hard in this paper, I find. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like when I draw on that paper.
Next one is a uh, canvas sheets. I use for acrylics. This is a watercolor paper, Lucas. Mm, 100 pounds with a rough structure and uh, yeah, this uh, drawing. Uh, yeah, I, I just tried something. This one is my favorite watercolor paper, um, Bamboo Mixed Media. I use it for watercolor, watercolor pens, pencils, acrylics, or like it said, pastel. Um, yeah, and it's it's really really great paper. Okay, so that's all the paper I use. Lots of paper. Lots of different paper, but I really use them all. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye!